Assalamu alaikum boys and girls, how are you today? Welcome back to Play and Learn Tajweed with Cuckoo. Yes, Tajweed. Uh, you're no longer learning Arabic, you already know how to read and write any Arabic word. Now you are in advanced stage, you are learning the Tajweed. Tajweed is, is the art of reciting the Quran. And I, as I told you earlier, the person who recites the Quran uh, in a, a perfect way, he is among the angels called Al-Kiram As-Safar. Okay, he is in their company. So uh, we all seek to reach that level, okay? Uh, we are in the process of learning the Tajweed, the art of reciting the Quran, but if you don't know Tajweed doesn't mean that you, you, don't, you, do, you don't read the Quran. As long as you can read the letters, you would be good. But you should keep going in uh, your learning. Don't stop learning. And one day you're going to find yourself an expert Tajweed uh, reciter or Quran reciter. Okay. Um, last week or last lesson, we uh, talked about something simple. No, it wasn't simple? Yes, it wasn't simple. We talked about the noon sakin and tanween, uh, and I think it wasn't simple. You are right, it wasn't simple. And that's why today I am going to talk about something simple. As I uh, uh, told you earlier, or that is, we, I always give you some, uh, some break in the middle between two hard uh, lessons. I give you a break in the middle with something uh, simple, give you a chance to digest the hard one. But um, anything with practice and understanding gets better. So today we're going to be talking about one rule, and that is uh, going to be a simple rule, but it's going to need a, a lot of practice. Even for me, still, uh, I, I need to uh, uh, practice more. I feel like I need to practice more. Uh, on these letters because I try my best to make them right or strong but uh, I feel my throat is still weak and I, I need to work more on that so no matter how old or expert you are still sometimes you feel that you need to work more uh, to perfect some point of your reading so uh, today we're gonna do that and uh, that's all. So let's go to the classroom and meet Kuku. And uh, I, I hope he will not get chalked today. He would not chalk on the letters because today's letters are, are very like, they feel like you're chalking on them. So uh, let's see what are those mystery letters. Are you ready? Let's go. for today's lesson? I bet you are. Okay. I told my friends earlier that today's uh, lesson we're going to work with letters that they sometimes you may uh, feel they're heavy to pronounce, but we're going to work on it, okay? Even me, I'm going to work on it, I promise. Okay. My friends, uh, today's lesson is about a rule in the Tajweed called Qalqala. And I wrote here in Arabic, so you, you won't say kalkala, it is qalqala. Okay? Qalqala uh, means it, it's a vibration or an echo sound comes on these letters when you stop on them uh, with a sukun. Either when they have a sukun, naturally, or you are stopping on them and so you added the sukun. So, uh, as I um, always tell you, it's always good to put letters in a word that you, you, you can, or a sentence that you can remember. And these letters today, I want to write them in this acronym. Kaf, Ta, 
الباب قطب جيم دال جد قطب جد and let me uh, put some haraka so you can pronounce it قطبي جد so whenever a sukun occurs on any of these letters due to uh, natural sukun or sukun due to stopping the reading I will pronounce this letter with a qalqala or a, a vibration or an echo that's, that's occur on the makhraj of these letters. And as I told you earlier, example is always good. So let us first talk about the degree of qalqala. Qalqala, it doesn't happen at the same degree, like sometimes it is loud, sometimes it is medium, sometimes it is low. So how will I know when I have to make it strongly or medium or low? There are three levels of Qalqala. The first level of Qalqala is the low. Okay, and this what we call it Qalqala Sobra. Okay, Qalqala Sobra. It is a small or a low Qalqala. This kind of, uh, of Qalqala, it happens when the letter, any of these letters have a sukun and they occur in the middle of the word in the middle of the word, not at the end. So, uh, an example of this is the word Aqbala. Okay, the word Aqbala. We have here, there is a sukun on the path, fatha on the And the comment. So here, this is a natural sukun uh, because I don't stop in the middle of the word. I stop always at the end of the word. So I'm going to read this way. Aqbala, and be careful. Don't make this, the 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 qalqala turn into a fatha. So you need to practice on this like aqo, aqo, ab, aj, ad, and you will get better. So whenever the qalqala happens. In the middle of the word, then it is qalqala sura, okay, or 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 uh, low qalqala, aqbala, aqbala, and so on. And this is number one. The second kind of qalqala is called qalqala wusta or media. or wusta okay qalqala wusta it happens when the letter fall at the end of the word either because it's a natural sukun or we convert the fatha, the dhamma, the kasra, whatever uh, at the end we convert it into sukun due to stopping because we are stopping the reading Example for for this is the word. Uh, let me give you an example due to a natural sukun. Natural sukun. When I say lam yalid, okay. So here, lam yalid. So the sukun occurs at the end of the of the uh, of the word, and we stopped at this word. So lam yalid. 
lem yelid, and this is a natural sukun. Okay, the second example due to stopping, and uh, example is when we say "qul huwa Allahu ahad," Allahu ahadun. Here I have the matanwin or the matan at the end of the uh, word on the dal. Dal is one of the qalqala letters. I am not continuing reading. I'm going to stop on ahad. I'm going to say, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. So here I am stopping on the dal. So I'm not going to say ahadun. No, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدَ So the tanween turned into sukun and this is qalqala due to stopping. The, the sukun, uh, I mean, sukun due to stopping. It wasn't there before. Not natural, okay? So this is uh, the other kind of the qalqala. Uh, qalqala musta. The third kind of the qalqala, and we call it, The high qalqala or qalqala kubra. Okay, qalqala kubra. And this is sobra and this is wusta. Okay, so the qalqala kubra or the high qalqala, it occurs when we are stopping on a word that at the end of the word there is a letter that has shadda when we read surat al masad or lahab tabbat yada abi lahabin wa tab i'm stopping at a word with a shadda so let's give an example Is Fatha on the ta and the shed that was Fatha on the back. But I am not continuing the reading. I'm going to stop at this to tell the listener that there is a shed here or there was a shed here. I'm going to really, really have to make a big kalkala on it. And that is the highest degree of kalkala. And I say, Tabbat yada abi lahabin wa tab, wa tab, is very strong, wa tab, wa tab, wa tab. To tell the listener that I, I have stopped on the shadda here, there was a shadda. And, and as I told you a long time ago when I was teaching you the shadda, listen, the shadda actually it is two letters. The first one is always sukun. And the second one is the one with the haraka. So anyway, we are stopping on sukun, anyway or, or another. So this is uh, the third kind of qalqala, or we call it the qalqala, the qalqala kubra. And uh, so all what you need to do is just practice. It's very, very simple. You need to memorize this acronym, qutbi jad, and whenever, um, you see these letters somewhere, they have natural sukun on them and they occur in the middle of the of the word it's a qalqala sugra or, or law. I don't have to make it too hard. So aqbala, aqbala. And whenever I am reading and there is any of these letters at the end of the word, either it will be uh, a sukun, natural sukun, or any other haraka other than than the shadda uh, or the fathat tanwi. I will convert this into sukun due to stopping, and I will do qalqala wasta, ahad, yalid, lam yalid, Allahu ahad, and it is medium. The third scenario is 
when is the biggest, the highest, the loudest is the Qalqala Kubra when there is a Shadda at the end of the word and I am stopping the reading. I am not going to continue reading. Okay? So I'm going to say Tabbat Yada Abi Lahabin Wa Tab If I am continuing reading, I will say Tabbat Yada Abi Lahabin Wa Tab Ma Aghna I'm not doing any qalqala on the tabba because I continue reading. If I'm stopping, it is qalqala kubra. Tab, tab, okay? And I think that's all for today. It's very, very easy rule. And uh, that is a good break for you. So you can catch uh, on the old lesson, practice more, and add something new instead of, you know, waiting. And uh, the next lesson also is going to be something easy. So you can um, take your time with the noon second and tenween rules. And then after the next lesson, we're going to have something again hard. So uh, catch up with all the stuff, make them perfect. Do not go any further unless you know what you're doing, okay? And uh, I just wanted to tell you here that I'm doing all this in order okay do not skip any lesson because sometime on purpose I will not mention everything about that rule because it, it's gonna add more confusion it's gonna make it harder on you I keep it for later when I am mentioning other rule I feel it can fit well with the other rule to teach you then I do it together so do not skip a lesson Go in order, and I have numbered the lessons for you, uh, lesson 17, 16, 15. Go in order, and do not skip any lesson just to write to it, because you are not going to understand. And uh, I'm going to have to uh, update the title. I think after the Madda rule, or the Mad lesson, the Madda symbol, uh, I'm going to name it uh, Step 3, step three and I'm going to uh, name it um, Play and Learn Tajweed with Coco because from, I think, le le lesson 12 on up is all about Tajweed. So you're going to find, when you want to do Tajweed, you're going to find Play and Learn Tajweed with Coco, but you go in order, okay? For now, uh, I think we're done for today. Uh, you, need, you need to practice on these letters. They can be hard to uh, get them from the beginning, but they, you will get there with practice, okay? And uh, till I see you next time, I say to you, Fi Amanillah, Assalamu Alaikum, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, Barakatuh.